So a um, couple of years ago, I think it's a couple of years ago, maybe even last year, I forget when it was. I think a couple of years ago, somebody asked me um, one time, they said, uh, who's the best president in the United States? And I said, well, you, you, I guess you're talking about in my lifetime because, you know, I, I can't. To me, they're all bad even before whatever, but, you know, I haven't studied enough about, you know, the, the Buchanan's or the, you know, whoever is, you know, the Jefferson Fox. I did study Jefferson a little bit, but, you know, those, those people, right? So I said, let's just deal with my lifetime. Well, my lifetime spans, well, I wasn't really conscious for it, but, you know, like Truman, you know, and, you know, Truman, you know, desegregated the army. Oh, that's such a good thing. Black people in the army, uh, whatever. Um, and he uh, also, well, he dropped the atomic bomb. <laughs> uh, plus, plus the plus them Dallas boys, you know, them Dallas goons, they, they had his ear, so he was just listening to the anti-communist thing a lot, so, so I couldn't do Truman. Uh, Eisenhower, uh, you know, I guess he's cool, you know, he's a general, he, he gave us that warning about the industrial complex, you know, military industrial complex, and uh, what he gave America was the big highways because he saw what Hitler did, you know, was big, you know, but of course those highways cut through a lot of black communities, destroyed black communities, well that's Robert Moses and the rest of the people, but you know, well it's all over the country, you know, Moses was just in the tri-state area, tri-state meaning New York, uh, Connecticut, New Jersey. Uh, so, ah, uh, so, you know, it's Eisenhower, I know. Uh, then you had, uh, who's next, Kennedy? Yeah, Kennedy, um, he was going to do some good things. I was told, you know, I mean, uh, a bunch of things, but uh, he got a little waylaid. Uh, I think he's just, uh, I think there was just too many. I think he really got in trouble with the women. You know, when I say the women, you know, this whole thing with Hoover, uh, you know, he, who, he was dating some woman that was also a girlfriend of this mobster, and that's a big mess. But anyway, they was afraid of the communist thing there too. A lot of things run about women and sex. And after Kennedy, then you had Johnson, and of course Johnson was a good old boy. And at the same time, see Johnson is the thing. Johnson talk about a slick politician. Uh, uh, like Mr. Johnson under sixty five, but well, he's the one that invaded, you know, got got, got Dominican Republic or whatever, you know, messed them up. Uh, but also, he's the guy that, uh, thought we gave us the civil rights and the world rest of that stuff, and everybody says that was him. He signed the bill, but you know, it was Adam Clay Powell Jr. that was advocating for all that stuff, Head Start, all that stuff was Adam Clay Powell Jr., but we'll get into that right now. Something that, that the Congressional Black Caucus can't get their head around, you know, they don't do no legislation, you know what I mean? <laughs> they just don't. Um, I mean, one, one, every blue moon, you know, one, like, like one, one congressman was sitting there for like, I don't know, 30 years, whatever he's sitting there for, and he only uh, put his name on three pieces of legislation or put forth three pieces of legislation, and I don't know what happened to that. Anyway, so Johnson, but he's also slick. Here's something that's his, 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 his closer to home. Um, uh, I'm associated with Pacifica Radio, or Pacifica Foundation, Pacifica Radio, for a long time. It's where I made my bones, if you will. Um, uh, but, you know, Pacifica Radio started and there was no public, uh, Johnson's the one that put the uh, PBS in place, you know, and that to me took the wind or, or, or took something away from Pacifica Radio. And Pacifica was purely listener-sponsored. Public, public radio first was just government-sponsored, you know what I mean, and then it got someplace in, I think it was the 70s, somewhere in there, maybe even the early 80s, I think it was barely the 70s, they started taking uh, uh, corporate advertising whatever it is. so that's so to me Johnson ah. uh, then after Johnson you had uh, Nixon we won't talk about Nixon took us all off the gold standard and that's what messed the whole world up we won't get into that right now uh, and then after Nixon then you had uh, oh well see the thing with Ford and, and, and Rockefeller Ford the president and Rockefeller the vice president to me you know they weren't really president because they wasn't elected I mean not that we elect presidents directly anyway because that electoral college but it basically Ford was appointed and he brought in Rockefeller as appointed. They had gotten rid of Agnew because when they knew they was going to get rid of Nixon, they had to get rid of Agnew, else Agnew would have been the president. Ooh, look up, Spiro Agnew, if you want to know the, anyway. Uh, so, so I don't consider them, I, I leave them out there. Then after that you had, uh, I guess, that was Carter. Oh, then you had Carter. Uh, Carter's the only president that didn't have a declared war. Uh, uh, then you had uh, a Reagan. Then, uh, well, you know, everything from Reagan on is just downhill, okay? I'm, I'm talking about Reagan, talking about Papa Bush, uh, 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 talking about Clinton, especially Clinton, uh, uh, talking about uh, Baby Bush, 
and talking about Obama. Obama, no, forget it. So let's 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 just go into just a little bit. Here's the thing. So I let me tell you who I picked. I said, well, uh, I'll just say Jimmy Carter. Uh, now Jimmy Carter's fault was that he read too much, but. The other thing about Jimmy Carter, what people don't realize, that the, this is the 80s, and at the time I was doing a lot of, uh, of recording of forums and stuff like that. And I, I mean, every recorded forum, there might be like like 15 people there, like Ron Dellums, I did, uh, the, uh, uh, the congressman from California. I, I uh, recorded him one time in, in Manhattan, where it was, there was, it was like 15 people there, whatever have you. But you know, that goes out on the radio. It's like YouTube now. You, you put it up there, and then it doesn't matter how many people are on it, you get it out on the radio, you know, you get it out on YouTube. Uh, uh, but also, there's the guy, uh, Michael Clare. Uh, uh, he, uh, uh, he, I recorded him several times, and he was talking about low intensity warfare. That's what Carter did. Now, Carter, Carter was a military man. He had had this low intensity warfare. So, people, unbeknownst to people, we were, we, America's been at war forever. Call it low intensity warfare, call it proxy, whatever you want to call it. America, war, you know, like Roman Empire, America, war, remember, yeah, same, same, same thing. Uh, so I had picked, uh, I had picked Carter. But when you think about it, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I know a lot of people say, oh, don't you like Obama? No, I don't like Obama. Do. Uh, let me go, let me leave, 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 leave the brother, the president alone. Uh, but here's the thing. All these folks, except for Carter, Right, because remember Carter, when he left, he did the Habitat for Humanity, you know what I mean, help people build houses? Come on now. All these other people went and they started to make money. You know, the, the Clinton people, of course, you know, they're, 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 they're with, the, with the emerging nations. They, they just, they're just ripping, you know, emerging nations off, you know, you know they don't do it stuff for the states. They're up there in Africa, whatever have you. Even George Bush, you know, baby Bush, he's up there doing AIDS in Africa, whatever have you. They, they use the emerging market to make friends or whatever have you that steal their minerals. You know how they do. Uh, but here's the thing, uh, we, there's this thing right now where, where for instance, like Trump, I mean, he's just giving the store away. He just, you know, because he's not a politician. He's a, he's a business. You do business, I do business. And he's just doing business, plus just doing what, he, he's like the worst of everything. The worst of the business and the worst of the politicians, right? But here's the thing that I that, that, that want to, uh, 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 to bring up about Trump. It was kind of, uh, to me, it was very, very interesting. And, and Obama, oh, babe, let me just get rid of Obama real quick. So, you know, Obama, he, he was on vacation doing some, some, hanging out with the boys, whatever he was doing. But then his first speech, what his speeches make, like $400,000 for a speech to like a fidelity kind of a, a, a thing and also a, a pharmaceutical, some sort of thing like that. And now you knew that was happening. You knew that boy wanted to make some money. And you knew when he was president, he was letting them bankers off, and he was letting them pharmaceuticals have their way. That's the whole uh, Obamacare thing, is about the pharmaceuticals having their way, and, and, and the insurance companies having their way. And so basically, well, you know, he's being, he's being paid off for the things that he did while he was in office. And all of a sudden he's going to be, oh, we got we to gotta do this, we got to do this for the truth. Whatever he's going to say, he's going to say. But, you know, he could have did stuff while he was in office, he did so I'm just through with you. Just listen. He's off stage. I don't want to hear from him no more. Let him make his money. You know, the rich people that bought him out, let him make his money. Donald Trump. Let's get to Donald Trump. It's kind of interesting. <clears throat> no, let's leave Donald Trump. Donald Trump, Donald's doing what he's doing. Okay, you know what he's doing. But there's another thing that happens, kind of interesting, in the news. I want to leave this uh, before, before I leave you right now. And that's with this guy, Bill O'Reilly. And it speaks volumes because Bill O'Reilly is good with his sex things or whatever it is, but you know, remember his his boss, Al's guy, he was doing the sex thing too. You know, making a, making a company where you know the, all the women. If you look at Fox Fox TV, um, whatever, uh, uh, you know, all the women wear the short dresses so you can catch some upskirt. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, they all have a certain type, so type. You know, whatever the deal is, and um, and you know, come on now, that was like that's a culture. You know, you, you become a culture, not even a class, it's a culture of sex, oozing sex. Now you have to remember who started Fox. It was Rupert Murdoch. Where did, where did it come from? Portmore, Australia. How did he start in Australia? He took his, he took his father's or wherever, grandfather, whatever it is, a little newspaper thing, and started putting basically, they said, page three or page six, whatever you want to call it, page. Where they had a, a semi-clad, a semi-nude girl, you like breast, usually breast girl, so everybody's buying the paper. So he starts there, he goes to England, does the same thing, you know what I mean? Remember sex, you know what I mean? Sex sells. Um, uh, uh, so, so he's doing this thing, then he gets to Fox News. Remember, it's the same thing. 
offering, you know, blondes or whatever, felts or whatever you would call them, you know, skinny, skinny girls that are, that the, the, the TV is friendly to, a uh, 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 good-looking, so-called good-looking women, and that's that. That was really the downfall of media because uh, someday I'll tell you about the six thirty-five eight microphone and the, the RE fifty microphone from from Electro Voice and. and, and well, not right now, some other time. My point really is this. You, the, the, the top, even though they say the fish rots from the head, but that's not true, how rots from the gut, but that's not the point, but the top is representative. So whatever you're doing on top, that's what's gonna happen in your house. You know, so, you know, Carter was Carter and he had a certain house. You know, uh, 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 w, uh, the Papa, Papa Bush, you know, XAA has a certain house. You see what I'm saying? Ronald Reagan, certain house. The whole thing, a certain house. Obama, a certain house. Oh, the Trump, a certain house. So you know, you just you, when you look at your when you look at your leaders, what's what, what's what they tolerate, what they, what what they do is tolerated. They're the example for everybody else in this structure, and it is a structure. It's a it's a it's a system. So anyway. I just want to throw that out there, get that out. Those old things have been on my mind. Uh, my mind being, my mind being, my mind is T. That's my mind. T from the Patterson State to Tibet. Letting you know what I only suspect.